Am I upset? I mean, <laughs> about what? Everybody's an independent artist at one point or another, you know? It's like all the greats. I guess you could say the record label and I had what you could call a conscious uncoupling. An unconscious un what? She was awake the whole time. She got kicked out like a horse at a donkey party. Plus, it is true what they say. You know, if you love something, set it free. And also, major labels are run by human f***ing garbage. I know how to cheer you up. Let's play MTV Cribs. Okay, so this is my room. Um, this is like MTV Cribs, not because of the show, just because my bed is literally the size of a crib. That's New York though, $8,000 for this palace. These are my lucky leaves. An actress friend of mine uses them. She got a Netflix special, so whatever. I'm trying everything. <laughs> So this is my kitchen. Uh, this is where absolutely nothing happens. I hate these cabinets, but the landlord really wants to preserve the beauty of the 80s. So I'm not allowed to do any renovations. One frying pan, just in case of guests or intruders. I don't know why I keep it in there. It's very Carrie Bradshaw of me, maybe. These are my children. Let's go see the Airbnb guest room. So I live in a two bedroom and I like to Airbnb the guest room to supplement my income a little bit. I mean, it's New York, I'm an independent artist now, so you gotta do what you gotta do, but this is super cute. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Sorry, oh no, I'm just filming something. No, it's fine, no. That's a cute bra though. She's from Colombia. I like to Airbnb because you learn a lot about different cultures and people from all over the world. Uh, it's funny, Korean women, they think the whole bathroom is a shower. Often I've found like three gallons of soapy water on the floor. There's clearly no drain. I mean, I wish I had a Korean bathroom. A Dutch woman once left a bloody paw print on my wall and Russian women don't like to flush, but otherwise things have been good. Um, I think I might be racist. LaVar, we should go. This game is over. You know, it's the life of an artist, you know? Damn it. If it isn't dog shit or dog piss in this city, and nobody picks up the trash, you know, it's like, do you care about your community? I guess not. Anyway, it's like YOLO, you know, like live moss, don't stop believing. Isn't that Taco Bell? No, that's Journey, babe. We're on our way to meet with a co-writer for the first single off my new EP. And sometimes I like to just, you know, come around, walk around the city, get inspired. You know, I mean, look at this place. How do you not get inspired here? I mean, not that, but like, you know, okay, this isn't a good street, but you get the gist. I just don't know what to write about today. You know? I know what we can do. Is this like a drug thing? No. Have you done ayahuasca? I feel like I should do that. Like it would like open me up. Although I do know a girl who shot off her face. Don't you know? No, I was thinking more of word association. Like I give you a word, you give me the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. All right. Okay. Blue. Uh, murder. Homegirl's having a breakdown right now. She's like the queen in Cuckoo Castle. Like before you guys got here today, I caught her talking to a toaster. A toaster. It was a full conversation too, but then she don't care who you are. Sometimes you got to talk to a toaster. That's how they got fired. They were f***ing in the f***ing broom closet. <laughs> hey, how hey. are you? Oh my God, you look great. Oh, you went brunette. <laughs> oh, I've always been brunette. Me too, me too. Let's do this. I'm so pumped. She was never a brunette. Unless I'm thinking of Michelle. Wait, LeVar, who is Michelle again? I feel like she was that writer. So what were you thinking for this first track? I'm thinking like, originally I was thinking a song called Pregnant No More, and that's like a pro-choice anthem that I definitely want to do at some point. But we're, right now it's like, it just has to be big. This is my first song as an indie artist, so we just have to tell my story, you know? And what were you thinking? 
I'm thinking a song called Over You. Yeah, write that down. And it's like about that special guy or girl in your life, you know? Or like non-binary, non-specific, like genderless, gender fluid, trans or queer person. Looks like you covered all the bases. Yeah, but it's like completely about the breakup with the label, you know? This is gonna be like my fight song. I mean, once they hear this, they're gonna fucking know how over them I am, you know? Because I'm like totally fucking over them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's like totally over them. And you can suck my d You're all the worst and Paul's a prick. <sighs> Alright, boom. This the game of foosball. This your man, these the cops. What you gotta do is get the rocks, past the cops. These your mans right here too, but what happens is one of them starts snitching, he gets bagged, you know what I'm saying? Now the whole game is f***ed up because he starts snitching, he messed up on him, he turned over on him, and now he's over here smoking crack. Yeah. Mm, I, don't, I don't know if that last line really gets at the heart of an ended relationship. What the hell do you know about relationships? You're like 15. Well, I'm 26. Hmm? I've been happily married for three years now, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure happily is not the word your husband would use, okay? <laughs> Guys are different. It's been an hour. I haven't heard anything, so I guess it's going okay. I think that's it. You do? Yeah. Do you think we should cut those last three lines, though? I, this song just felt right without the C word making an appearance. Let's sleep on it. You know? Sometimes it's just better the next day. Yeah, well... That was amazing. Another successful writing session. To quote the queen, I'm a boss, you're a worker, bitch. I make bloody moves. LaVar, is it cool to quote Cardi B like that, or is it like when I said I was woke? Do you, Lady Bird? Just checking. <laughs>